You asked for it, and you got it. Now you can display the results of the clip cube in sheet layer viewports. You're not limited to a single clip cube configuration for all viewports either. For each viewport you create that includes a clip cube view, a separate instance is available and can be edited later. To modify the clip cube appearance, edit the design layer of the viewport and make sure display with clip cube is checked. Then you'll see not only the viewport's geometry, but also the desired clip cube view, which can be edited here as well and will appear when the viewport is updated. You can choose whether to show the viewport clip cube boundaries or not for any viewports that have one associated with them within the advanced viewport properties dialog. In addition, the caps of clipped geometry can be colored separately from the document default on a per viewport basis, controlled in the same dialog. Finally, since these views can now be rendered with RenderWorks, we added special control options, letting you decide whether you want to show the shadows of clipped out geometry or not, again selectable on a per viewport basis.